For years, I thought I was alone, that my ability to see ghosts was some kind of fluke, something I could never explain. Then I received a letter that changed everything. A distant cousin of mine, Sebastian Nightstone, had read my latest book. And he, too, can sense ghosts. He said a woman was haunting his dreams, trying to tell him something. I set off to Austria to meet him. I looked forward to a quiet trip, but of course, my life is never that simple. The elevator started to crash. It was descending fast. I braced myself for the end. But suddenly, the ghost appeared. I don't understand how or why, but she saved me. What I saw in Sebastian's room changed everything. The ghost seemed to care for Sebastian, a living person. In my dreams, I saw her hiding away something valuable, music sheets, of her own composition. And then she was running, running away from someone, fearing for her life. Perhaps she fell or was pushed, but she drowned in the river. I don't know who was chasing her. Outside Sebastian's room, I spotted a hooded man running away. It was the thief. I was too late. He escaped. Following him down the slope was impossible. I had to find another way. I didn't know how I'd catch the thief, or what I would do if I had to face him alone, but I had to try. I wanted to solve the mystery. What was so special about Elise's music that the thief wanted it so badly? But this time, maybe I'd gotten it over my head. Nothing prepared me for what was coming next. Was this my last adventure? Would it all end here? The thief was getting away. I needed to catch up with him, or else I'd lose him. I rushed to catch up with the thief. Maybe a little too much. The cold overtook me. The storm was too strong. I just collapsed. The next thing I knew, I looked up to a friendly face. I was saved. He's found something. This way, Ms. Nightstone. him! But what was he doing here? What was he looking for? The map led us both to Germany. I needed to confront him to get the other stolen pieces. But how would I do that without endangering my life? That's not the price we agreed on. If you're not paying me for these music sheets, I'll find someone else who can. Aha! Maybe if I posed as a buyer, I could find a way to get the music sheets. But how? I quickly wrote him an anonymous note and devised a way to pass it to him. My plan worked. He headed towards his cabin. He 
he'll lead me straight to the music sheets. Now that I've got him cornered, how do I confront him? I'd better be careful. I couldn't believe it. The thief was double-crossed by his own partner. If he was just a hired goon, then who was I really after? The German authorities took care of the thief, but my journey wasn't over. Who was the mastermind behind all this? From the thief's travel book, he was headed towards a conservatory. Could the final music sheets be here? It was time to face the music. That was Bohm! It was him all along! He took the music sheets and locked me in. I must find a way to escape! Thank heavens! I made it out. Good thing I was able to look at the map before the man took it away. I needed to go back to Austria and retrieve the music sheets, once and for all. There it was. Elise's priceless violin, clutched by the maestro until his last breath. Elise wouldn't have wanted that. I turned over the violin and the music sheets to the person she did care about, Sebastian. In return, Sebastian fulfilled Elise's wish. He played her beautiful music for the whole world to hear in what would be his last concert. It was a sad day in Salzburg when Philip and I laid my cousin, Sebastian Nightstone, to rest. I was all set to go home, knowing I had helped Sebastian with his last wish, when I felt a chill down my spine, like I was being watched. I knew that feeling well. Another ghost. Another mystery. Who else was haunting Sebastian's manor? If the Luthier's ghost was looking for answers, it meant his death couldn't have been an accident. I returned to the conservatory to find his hidden workshop. Something good came out of all this tragedy. I was able to track down the Luthier's family and hand over his blueprints. What was once just a story to them was now a legacy, something they could preserve and continue. There will be more Faust violins made, and more stories to tell. Until the next novel, dear readers. <laughs>